Yo, how's it going guys? Rebel here, coming at you guys with a brand new video, and today, as you guys can see by the title, we are going to be doing a League SBC fully explained type of video, but before you get into it, go ahead and leave a like, don't forget to subscribe for more FIFA 21 content, as well as following the Twitch, because on Twitch, we stream every single day, we snipe, flip cards, uh, trade, invest, play games, do SBCs, we do all that on Twitch, you get to see the whole RTG, how we make our money, um live so go ahead and drop me a follow on twitch join the discord if you guys want a and like a spreadsheet like an excel sheet to keep track of league sbc cards because we are going to be doing that um later on but join the discord so you get the link for that but enough talking let's get straight into the video guys so last year um we made a league sbc video and it did very good it got around fifteen thousand views um so i'm deciding to make a video right now i don't know how long it's going to be but i'm going to try to explain the league sbc method fully even though it's a little bit nerfed uh this time around ea just like made the packs everything really nerfable um and not that profitable but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i do and how i make my coins at least how i'm gonna be trying to make my coins uh through the league sbc method but the league sbc method what is it what are league sbcs if we go to the play section go to sbcs and then you go to literally leagues right here uh, so far, there's five leagues. You got the Conan Bell, Libertadores, Sudamericana, UCL, Uber Eats, and uh, the Saudi League. These two leagues, the Saudi and the Liga, I focus on these the most. I'm going to be focusing on these the most. And as you see, if you complete it, you get two rewards. You get a small rare gold players and a jumbo premium gold players pack. Untradeable. Now, I don't know when you're going to be watching this video, if you're watching it right when it came out, if you're watching this two months time when the rewards change, I don't know when you're going to be watching it, but we're going to be basing it off of untradeable rewards, okay? So we're going to be getting untradeable rewards for like everything. What it used to be was like 86 rated cards, 87 rated cards if you complete the whole league and every single pack was tradable in there. If we go ahead and look at the league off, we get a small gold players pack. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk because it's going to be too much, but you see, you see these packs all tradable untradeable for a really good pack the small rare gold players pack is a really good pack and it's untradeable the silver players packs tradable 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 and then you start getting to the good ones and then it starts saying untradeable you see untradeable untradeable that one's untradeable tradable untradeable hey wait oh no that's trade untradeable 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 so oh man why, why do you do that man it doesn't make sense i mean it does make sense they don't want us to make money from this as you see and it says 27 days remaining it used to be the whole year Used to be the whole year. There was never a time limit on these. Um, so I think in 27 days, these are going to update with better rewards. Hopefully that's the case. Hopefully they make the rewards tradable. And hopefully, 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 at the end we get a player that's at least an 84, 85 rated. But I'm going to show you guys another part that you need to remember for this SBC grind. If you go to the icons, this year we have icon SBCs. Last year we didn't have it, but the year before that, FIFA 19 was a gold mine for this. For the League SBC method, FIFA 19 was insane. It was amazing because if you look at the icons, in the beginning right here, you got two. You got Born Legend and Rising Star. Uh, for the Born Legend, you get a small players pack and you got to give up 11 players, all rare, all bronze, 50 chemistry. For the Rising Star, you get a jumbo silver pack and you get rare players, exactly 11 and exactly silver and 50 chemistry. And before, you used to get gold players packs. Gold players packs are 12 gold players with one rare. Um, and in my opinion, guys, I think this is better. I think this is better than FIFA 19 um, because you're getting silver cards. And silver cards are very hard to come by in uh, FIFA 20 and FIFA in general. It's very hard for to come by silver cards because nobody really does silver pack method. Everybody does bronze pack method. You have the bronzes from bronze pack method and you get the golds from rewards from like rivals and uh, foot champs, right? And we're, we're missing the silvers the silver players income so this is a great uh actually they tried nerfing it but i think this is better so you need to remember that uh, you get that for every single section of an icon so so far we have six in total i'm just gonna go ahead and favorite this to make it easier and then i'm gonna go ahead and favorite the league a uh, and then i'm gonna go ahead and go to upgrades and then i'm gonna favorite all these actually i'm just gonna favorite gold upgrade but uh i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys step by step what i do how i stock my club Okay, so I want to look at my club value first. Go to leaderboards. And I highly recommend you watch the whole video just to get a full understanding. Club value, as you see, we're not very good in club value. I'd say once you're past 150 million uh, club value, then you're in the green. Right now, we're not really in the green because we haven't done much. So what we're going to be doing is going to be uh, opening bronze packs. Just keep opening bronze packs until I'd say like you're 
50,000 coins clear, all right? I say 50,000 coins clear. It's up to you how far you want to start the grind, how early you want to get into it. But I just open these until I waste around like 50,000 coins and then until I get a bunch of untradables into the club. So this is what I do. I skip the pack. I make it as fast as possible. If you really want to, guys, doing it on the web app, on your companion app is way faster. I highly recommend doing that instead. But what we do, okay, we get a rare card. That's amazing. If you want to go ahead and sell him right away, you could probably get 700 coins for him just like that. But uh, what we do, we sell all the contracts, send all the players into the club, and then the duplicates that we get, amazing. Uh, a Saudi duplicate. This guy probably, okay, he doesn't. He'll sell for 200 though. We get 200 back for that. And as you start doing this more and more, every single pack you're going to be doing, guys, every single pack you're going to be opening, you're going to be getting duplicates. And that's where you're going to start making your money. You're going to start selling your duplicates, 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 duplicates. And it's only 400 coins, guys. You make this by playing foot champs, right? So if you spend 50k... Uh, just opening bronze packs, you'll make that back in foot champs, depending where you place. So uh, as you see, we're getting a lot of players because that means uh, we have... Once we start getting a bunch of duplicate players, guys, that's when we know we need to start recycling. Once we get duplicate players every single pack, that's when we know we need to start doing up upgrades, bronze upgrades to get those silver players. But I'm going to open like three more just to show you guys how it is. That's basically all it is. Just open bronze packs. This is the foundation. This is the basis. This is the root. This is the stem of all your League SBC grinding this is gonna be the stem bronze packs um of course you could go out and buy the players you could do that I'm, I'm not stopping you from buying the players going out and buying the players but i highly recommend doing this instead guys this is not only more profitable but it's more fun in my opinion i like this better than just going through every single team and buying the players you, you get to see your club grow you get to see all the players you pack when you submit them you're like oh i remember packing this dude Oh, I remember I was going to sell this guy. Now he's worth triple the price. And that's something you could do as well. You don't really have to complete it for the packs, guys. You could go ahead and just complete it for um, um, the freaking... To, just to sell them. Once you have them in your club, you could go ahead and sell them. Right? You could do that. Nobody's stopping you from doing that. Uh, this guy's probably going to sell for a lot as well. Yeah, 800 coins for a Saudi rare. You see? The gold pack, bronze pack method works amazing. And then there's TFOs like this that I believe always sell. So the start TFO, it looks pretty cool. So I'm just going to sell that. But you guys get the point, right? You just open bronze packs, and this is going to be the last one right here. But once you start getting duplicates, once you think you're in a good basis to start doing upgrades, then that's what you're going to do, man. You're going to go ahead and uh, go to the upgrade. So we're going to send everything here to the club. We're going to quick sell all this. We're not going to want any of that. And then, um, yeah, let's go to that play section. All right, guys, let's go to play. Let's go to SBCs. Let's go to upgrades and then go to bronze upgrade. And right here at bronze upgrade, you have two options. You could just do squad builder or you could build it yourself. But what I do, I do squad builder. I do bronze and I do English league three. I do all the dead leagues except the top five. The top five, of course, are Premier League, Bundesliga, Serie A, La Liga, and Liga. Those are the main five leagues that I base my players off of. That's the. I don't really submit anything else. You feel me? I don't really submit anything else other than um, those into League SPCs. I don't really care about the Saudi. I don't care about um, the Japanese League. I don't care about the Korean League, you know, stuff like that. So, look, if we go here, look at Austrian. Austrian probably has a lot of players. No players. No players. Ukraine. No players. Okay, that's not a good sign then. That means we need to... We actually just ran through this, though. So we actually just did, like, 40 silver pack upgrades or bronze pack upgrades. So that's why we don't have a lot of players into the club. So let's keep going through this until we get a bronze upgrade. The Scottish, sure, sure, sure. I think that's enough to start uh, building. Okay. So then you submit all these players, right? Submit all these players into the bronze upgrade. And in the bronze upgrade, guys, you're going to be getting two players. You're going to be getting a rare silver and a non-rare silver. And this is where it starts getting interesting. This is where you start building your club more and more. Your club value starts going up, starts going higher. Uh, you submit this, and then, like I said, you're going to get two cards. You're going to get your silver, non-rare, and rare. Then you're going to go ahead and open it. Once you go, go ahead and open it. Let's take a look real quick. Two silver players pack. And if you get a major league silver, amazing. You can put them into a... Uh, to a league SPC, right? If you don't get one, don't worry. Because remember, we still have the icon part. We still have the rare part, the rare section of the icon part. So here we got a, oh, that's a perfect pack. 
Perfect, perfect, perfect. He, if he was tradable, he would sell for like 2k, you see? So we're saving ourselves 2k if we want to do the championship SBC for the Preston later on. And same for this one as well. So send that to the club. And then I'm going to show you what to do from there. So once you start stacking all those up, all those, all those, all those, you have two options, guys. Um, you could submit those silvers that you got into a league SBC, into the Liga or the Saudi, or you could do this. This is like a very, very long grind. You go to silver upgrade. You go to silver upgrade, right? And then you submit all your silvers for three common gold players. Like I said, guys, this, this grind is not pretty, but, um... If you want to make easy coins in the future, you want to stock up your club now, this is a great way to doing it, doing it, all right? You got to stack all your players. You see, I already have a lot saved up from these. Um, I don't really care if they're untradeable or tradable because they're they're dead anyway. They're dead leagues. They're, they're going to sell for 200 coins minimum. So why not get three gold players from that? You know what I mean? Okay, these guys might actually sell. So if we take a look at this. Yeah, these guys might actually sell. So this isn't a good idea giving these up. Oh, no, they're 350. How much is this guy going for? Okay, so what we're going to do is just untradeable. We're going to do untradeable, guys. We're going to do untradeable silvers. And it's going to be silver commons. And make sure they're dead leagues. So that's how many we have. We That means we need to do more, guys. Hold on. That means we need to do more uh, silver upgrades. But just send all that into your silver upgrade and like i said this isn't uh really necessary in my opinion i'm just doing it to show you guys uh but i don't really think you need to do this i don't really think you need to do silver upgrades because you're going to be getting your golds through like i said foot champs you're going to be getting your golds through um through uh division rivals you're going to be getting them through draft you're going to be getting them through marquee matchups you know that's how you're going to be getting your golds your golds aren't necessarily going to be got like brought in through um through silver upgrades but if you want to do it this way be my guest send all your non-rare silvers into here dead league non-rare silvers and then you get three common gold players and if you know the trend that i'm going and you know what's going to happen you send you keep doing this keep doing this keep doing this until you get 11 gold commons right and once you get 11 gold commons you put all your 11 gold commons into the gold upgrades and then I know it sounds horrible. It sounds very tough, but it's a grind, guys. It's it's you're not you're not gonna stack up your club in one day. You're not gonna. And this is a good part. You start getting tradables, and this guy sells for like one k, and I could go ahead and get rid of him. So we made one k back on that. Uh, but like I said, guys, this isn't something that you're gonna get in one day. This isn't something that you're gonna be uh, completing in one day. You're, this is gonna take probably a month of straight grinding. Straight grind. Maybe maybe not a month. Maybe like two weeks. Two weeks of straight grinding, because even a day, if you do this for a day straight, it still takes a very, very long time. Uh, even to craft a gold upgrade, just like that, just by bronze pack method, it takes forever. But it works, because I'll show you right now how many golds I have. I'll show you how many golds I have, um, and then I'm going to show you the section. So for Javier Zanetti, we already did the Born Legend. We already got the small silver players pack. We gave up 11 rare silvers, or bronzes. Now we need to give up 11 rare silvers. Uh, I haven't done this yet, but let's take a look at if we have enough rare silvers. So let's look at rare silvers, untradeable, of course. We have a lot of these. So we want the dead leagues. Like I said, Greek, dead league. Japanese, dead league. Uh, Scottish, dead league. Argentina, dead league. Mexico, dead league. Portugal, dead league. Dead league. And I'm saying dead league because they're not top five, remember? French 2, dead league. Russia, dead league. Sweden, dead league. England 3, Dead League. French 2, Dead League. German 2, Dead League. Easy as that, guys. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Why was he a different color? Did you guys see that? Or what, am I color? Whoa, what was that? He was a different color on the screen. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so we go Taylor here. Put him here. Put this bum there. Wage. Put him there. And there you go that's one of the sections for the icons and i believe these are all tradable so this is in my opinion very good instead of them being gold i really re uh, they should have you see 11 24 silvers 24 silver cards that's very that's profit guys like you could keep these you don't even have to put these into sbcs this is big profit right here because uh silver badges silver kits silver tifos silver balls stuff like that they all sell and the fact that we get a lot of consumables is very good we make our money back this way 
I didn't even know it was I thought it was all players. Is it all players? Oh my god, what a pack. What a pack, guys. This is actually really good. Uh you can sell these all for minimum 200 and you make your coins back on all the silvers. Like, look at this. MLS. Yeah, like this guy's gonna sell for 1500 easily. Uh wow, that's better than I thought, honestly. I didn't think it was gonna be this good, guys. Um, but again, you if they don't sell, store them until they actually sell or put them into silver upgrades. Like I said, you can put them into silver upgrades and then you get golds that way. Opoku. Uh, do you sell Opoku? No, you don't. Li Jiang Hyop. No. And Jose Marie. You don't sell for a lot. But, uh, wow, 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 wow. That's an amazing, amazing pack. And I'm saying that because we get rare kits right here. Rare kits are, uh, Insta Cells. Of course, sells for, sells for 200, Tenerife, and Talares will sell for 500. Um, and this other kit probably will sell as well for 200. Every silver consumable sells. So the scissors right here, I'm not really sure what this is. Scissors. We'll list for 700. I'm not really sure what that is. Interesting. Hopefully it wasn't a good, crazy celebration. The rare contracts, we could sell all of them. Um, you could sell all the contracts if you really want to. I don't know if this guy sells. I don't think he does. We're just gonna quick sell him. And then there you go. Um, very easy coins right there, guys. And then, um, you completed these two, right? You completed these two. And then another step to getting high rated fodder for icon SPCs and stuff like that. This is a bonus tip is, uh, gold upgrades. You could just spend coins on these and gamble your chances on this. Uh, like like we saw earlier, we have a lot of gold, or we got like three gold commons, but one of them we actually need. So we're going to give up Discaglio, Mycon, and Bustinza. Uh, and then we're just going to buy the rest of the gold upgrades. But this is mainly uh, used to get high rated fodder. This is used for a hot fodder. This isn't really used for League SBCs itself. This is used for fodder. If you don't know what fodder is, I'll give you an example of fodder. So we take a look at my club, go to gold rare, right, go gold rare. Casemiro, that's fodder. He's not really usable in game. He's he costs a lot. He costs like 40k because he's high rated and he's usable for SPCs. Larice is kind of fodder because he's high rated. Um, you got Verratti fodder, David Silva fodder. All these cards right here fodder. My club is all stacked of fodder, and that's all because of gold upgrades. I've been doing this grind since the game came out. Um, I don't have enough high rated as I wish I would actually have, and that's because I haven't taken untradeable rewards and rivals for a long time. But as you see, we have a lot of gold cards. Probably the gold cards makes up our entire club. We have a lot of gold rares. Uh, I could keep going, but we probably have like 30 pages. Um, but I'm going to cut it off on there. And then we're just going to buy a gold common. And like I said, this is used for icon SBCs. This is used for any SBC that you want that requires high rated cards. Uh, you could just do this the way that I was showing you earlier by doing silver upgrades. Or you could do it how I'm doing it now by just buying the players. I recommend doing it the other way. But for the sake of video and time management, we're just going to do it this way. What I usually search for is Netherlands because the Netherlands does have a lot of players to choose from. Uh, as you see here. And they're all going for very cheap right now at 350 Very, very surprising to me that they're going for 350 at the moment. If you guys know on stream, we always purchase Netherlands players. And they're always going for around like 400 coins. So 350 is a good deal. Good, good deal. Uh, I think that's good, right? Buy one more. Okay, now we're going to do a gold upgrade. And I'm going to show you, uh, we were maybe going to get a board. If we don't get a board off of this, it's okay. But this is a really good alternative. And instead of playing the game and grinding, if you don't want to do that, you could just um, do gold upgrades and hopefully hopefully pack some fodder for Icon SPCs. But um, yeah, guys, like it, it works. It's just, it takes a lot of time. I don't know if you guys are patient, but it takes a lot of time, guys. I'm telling you that right now. You're not going to get this in a week. You're not going to get your club to 2,000 players in a week gonna take a while but once you get there it'll all be worth it trust me all the pain that you did opening bronze packs all the pain that you did doing silver upgrades it'll be worth it because you're gonna be able to repeat league SPCs over and over and over and over and then it's gonna get to the point where you're just packing big cards and doing icon SPCs over and over then you open the icon SPCs and you you pack something big in that and then you sell all those players and then it just keeps on going and going and going. So here we go. We got a gold upgrade, two rare gold players packs. Even if we don't get a board here, uh, we're still getting gold rare cards for future references. So here we go. We got a rare, not a walkout. You can always get informs in this. We have a lot of informs that I'll show you. So we don't get a board off of this. We get a center back, Kawadi. This guy could be used for a league SBC as well. 
Um, Cody, Kawadi, I don't know how to say it. Hopefully we don't get any duplicates. And we don't. Hey, that's nice. We could use him for the Leon SBC as well. He sells for at least like 1200 on the market. And I also wanted to show you guys, um, go to transfers right here. I want to show you guys, um, contract sold, my uh, informs that I have gotten through doing that. So you go to quality, special. You can see here we got a bunch of informs packed by doing the doing the gold upgrades. We got four informs right there. We got one right here, Color Solaire, uh, Joel Pedro, Dumfries, Fulkrug, Ikrim, Dia, Tagart, David. We got one swatch of David off of that. Triore, um, Tralka. I think there's one more. And Kamara. We got all those um, special cards by doing the gold upgrades, guys. So when the repeatable team of the week upgrade comes out, we're going to be able to submit these and actually get some coinage back. Like, it's just, it's easy coins, guys. Like, I don't know if you believe me, believe me or not, but um, it's just easy. It just takes a while. It takes a while. And I highly recommend you guys do this now. You guys start doing this now because once you start doing it later on, it's going to take up your time when you can just be doing Lee SBCs. You know what I mean? And I hope you watched the entire video. And if you still have any questions left, let me know in the comments down below. Um, you could always, always, always join the Discord and ask me on there. You could always DM me on Twitter and ask me that. But that's pretty much how it works, guys. And another tip I want to tell you guys before we end the video is there's many ways of getting players into your club. Of course, Bronze Pack Method is the best way. Um, but you also have Squad Battle Rewards, okay? You got Division Rival Rewards. You got Foot Champions Rewards. You have Friendly Objectives. You have Single Player Draft. You have online draft. Yeah, this is all ways of getting players. Even objectives. You look at objectives, right? Um, that Kunde that was an 82 rated, you could... Okay, no, that's not a good example. But Premier like right here. Doing all this, you're getting two rare gold players packs. You get one, two, three, and then you get two 75 pluses. That's, let's just say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get eight players by completing Bellerin into your club. You look at week one silver, you're getting more coins. Even if you look at season progress... I already got one player. I probably got like four off of this. I probably got another one, so that's six. The Jumbo 26 had like 10 players, so that's like 20 players. Gold players is like another, okay, so we're like at 32. And then you have all these packs left. You need to make sure you're actually playing and grinding the game, guys. For milestones as well, you're getting packs every single time. You get Squad Battles Mastery. You get two rare gold players, rare players, ultimate pack. Uh, Rivals Mastery, uh, you get an ultimate pack. You get a jumbo rare players. You get a premium gold players. You see, uh, we're almost at the champs right here. We're at 132. So by next, probably in like three weeks, we'll be at there already. But uh, this is just like, this is big tips that I'm giving you guys. Milestones, objectives, foundation, season progress. Uh, you need to play the game, guys. You guys need to grind it. You know how, how valuable it is to be just playing the game. Play the game, guys. Play it, play it, play it. Grind it, have fun. Uh, use the method however you want. However you want to make coins, you don't even have to do this. You could just buy the players for the league SVC. But this is a way that I think you guys will make a lot of profit. And I've been doing this for the past like three years. And every single year, high coins, easy coins. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow Twitch. Join the Discord. And let me know how it's going for you guys. Let me know if you have questions. I'll see you next time. Peace.